I was trapped in Yuma, Arizona recently at a free dump station for three hours because one dude was jamming up the line. There were RVers coming in from every direction. And after a while, people started to lose their minds. So after about an hour, I started filming. I'm going to tell you guys the do's and don'ts that this guy absolutely messed up so you don't end up being that guy and ways to make your dump experience not that bad and quick, quick, quick. Happy Sunday, everybody. It's Robin with Creativity RV. I hope you're doing well out there. I am doing great. But recently, when I left Yuma, Arizona, I went to the Speedway there, which a lot of RVers know about because it's free. And it seems like when the dump station is free, people take liberty to do things maybe they wouldn't do other times, like dispose of their gloves on the ground and not spray after themselves if they leak a little bit or flush out their tanks with the water while other people are waiting or just take their time and be really slow. Let me tell you why I was trapped for three hours. I wasn't even in line. When I first pulled in, I pulled past the dump and I saw this guy in a truck camper and I saw that he was facing the wrong direction, but you never know. Maybe his fresh water tank or something was on the other side. Didn't think a thing about it. I went over to the side of the parking lot, which was sizable when I got there because I wanted to use the last of my water and take a final shower and then dump my tanks. But then a van pulled in the other direction and this woman looked so confused and she didn't understand why he was pointing the wrong direction. So she kind of went sideways and blocked people. But then she turned around, somebody else got behind her, somebody else got behind that person and the line started to go down to the street. But then two people got behind the man at the dump station the other direction because they thought that's where the line started because of the dude and pretty soon all hell broke loose. Now I was just in there chilling waiting for my hair to dry so I wasn't paying a lot of attention until I heard the first person start to yell at the dude and that's when I realized he had been there almost an hour at that point. I looked outside and there were all of these RVs this lady has yelled at him. This lady's gotten out and talked to him. This lady from the truck yelled at him. I don't know what's going on. Maybe he's having a problem. There was a lady complaining to another lady right outside my window. So I called her over and I said, what's going on? Is that guy broken down? Hi there. I'm just curious. Yeah. Uh, is that guy broken down or something? No. He's got a 60 gallon tank. He's using a filter on to fill up. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, I've been watching the drama unfold. The water at this place was slow. It was potable. Everybody wanted to use it. But still, that doesn't account for the time that he took to do it. I think maybe he was washing out his tanks. After people had gone up to yell at him, he just kind of meandered around to the other side, coiled up his hose real slow and put it away, took it back out, coiled it again. Maybe he was doing it on purpose to prove a point. He's still putting his stuff away. Oh my God, I would pull over and put all my stuff away later. And he's just taking his time. Oh my gosh, what a jerk. So slow. There's his wife, she went inside to pee or something. So slow, they're walking slow, they're going slow. Their hose had to be perfectly curled up. They know like seven people are waiting now. Unbelievable, this guy. And I think at this point, at least two or three people have gone over and had a talk with them, and they still don't care. Oh my God, he's still doing it. <laughs> okay, right now on my video, I'm at two minutes and 30 seconds, and I started filming this when I saw him putting his hose away and he's still there. So, so far it's taking him, I don't know, almost three minutes. Oh, he's backing it up. It took him two and a half minutes to put away his water hose and his sewer hose. That is some poor dump station etiquette. Oh my God, this guy, unbelievable. I hope they see all the campers that are pulling forward now. 
that they have blocked in here coming in the wrong direction and insisting on using a filter to fill up their water that is so slow. I mean, seriously, they need to watch this video. I was aghast. Personally, if I'm at a dump station and anybody pulls up behind me, I feel a responsibility to go quickly. Dumping is not that fast. And listen, if you can do it, get a composting toilet. I've had them in almost every rig. I've had different brands. I recommend Ogo. I have a discount link for them below because then you never have to deal with this nightmare. You can just go somewhere that has water. I'm working on getting an Ogo in my Airstream now because I have a pipe that sticks out. So I actually have to have that um, reconfigured. And then I'm gonna have an Ogo like I did in my truck camper and my fifth wheel. When you have a composting toilet, you only have to dump it like every five weeks if you're one person, maybe every three weeks if you're two people and it doesn't smell. It's like soil and it's easy, all you do is pull out the bucket, dump it into a bag, add new compost material, and you're done. That's it. So you don't have to deal with any of this chaos, and it actually ends up paying for itself in about a year for me. That's what I calculated. But unfortunately, I did not have that in the Airstream for this trip. I got trapped over there. I couldn't turn around anymore, and I had to wait for everybody to get through. So why not? I went ahead and timed about four people, including myself, to see how long it really takes for people to dump their tanks. And I found that the time it takes changes wildly. Of course, it depends on how big your tank is and how big your freshwater tank is if you're getting water, but it really depends on if you feel a responsibility to go fast, if you have all of your stuff lined up so you can do it with a quickness and you get out of other people's way when you're done. Yay, okay, guy number one took 13 minutes and 32 seconds. I can't see the R-Pod now. And I'm gonna have to shut my window again. But let's go ahead and start the timer for her right now. Here goes, RV number three. This one should have some pretty big tanks. And a pretty good freshwater tank if he's filling that. Let's see how long it takes. Now the difference here is that this guy in the big class A is moving with a quickness. He's gone in and out a few times, but he looks like a guy that has been waiting a long time, wants to get out of here, or understands that there's a bunch of people waiting. You know the other thing that I think is really funny about free dump stations is that people love the idea that it's free so much that they'll go way out of their way to use that dump station. Like I know a couple of people that drove 17, 20 miles to go to this dump station because it was free when they get nine miles to the gallon when they could have paid $5 to dump down the street. If the potable water is there and it's slow like it was for that first guy, there are plenty of water sources. I went to a Circle K just down the street and there was a spigot. There are spigots in Arizona a lot of times just at the salt-free water kiosks where you fill up some drinking water. You don't have to get the water right there at the dump. There's lots of other places. And especially if it's slowing you down, just move on and get your water somewhere else. So really quick, let me give you a few tips about dumping, whether you're new or not, that's going to make it a lot easier for you. First of all, have it ready to go, people. Personally, I have a bin at the back of my Jeep that makes it really easy to go. I do not store my hose in the hose receptacle in the side of my Airstream because I was sick of putting that end on and off that curves and it was always dripping and it always delayed me. So now in that bin, I have my hose, I have my gloves, I have a couple of bottles of water and soap because sometimes at dump stations there is not a place to wash your hands and some antibacterial wipes just in case. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you're the quick guy at the dump station, not only is it quick for everybody else behind you, but it's also quick for you. And this trip and this experience has sealed it for me. I'm going back to a composting toilet. Again, the link for that is down below. And I've also linked 
a video I did showing you installation in two of my rigs of the composting toilet and how it works. I'll see you guys in two weeks with an all new video. Until then, everybody out there, have happy travels and be free.